Millions of men over the age of 40 suffer from prostate enlargement without realizing what is silently driving it. You may feel the urge to urinate more often, a weaker stream, or that strange sensation of never fully emptying your bladder. But what if I told you this problem has nothing to do with the testosterone you think is too high? And everything to do with a powerful enzyme that increases as you age? In today's video, as a board-certified urologist, I'll break down the hidden mechanism behind benign prostate enlargement and the simple daily habit that may help support a healthier prostate. I'm Amara Cruz. Our community is growing very fast, and if you'd like to join us, you can follow. And make sure to comment where you're watching from. I love seeing it. The prostate is a small gland sitting just below your bladder. A tiny tube called the urethra passes through the center of it. This is the tube that carries urine out of your body. When the prostate is small, everything flows normally. But as many men age, this gland slowly begins to enlarge. And the problem is simple. The bigger it gets, the more it squeezes the urethra. And the harder it becomes for urine to pass through. This is why you may notice a weak stream, dripping after you finish, or that constant feeling of never fully emptying your bladder. In more advanced cases, the prostate can grow upward toward the bladder, reducing the bladder's capacity and making it even harder to hold urine. But here's what most men never hear from their doctors. The main trigger behind this enlargement is not high testosterone. It's an increase in estrogen inside the prostate itself. Your body converts testosterone into estrogen through an enzyme called aromatase. As you age, and especially if you carry extra body fat or have high insulin, this enzyme becomes more active, causing estrogen levels inside the prostate to rise. Estrogen is a growth hormone. The more estrogen your prostate is exposed to, the bigger it becomes. And the tricky part? The estrogen level inside the prostate has nothing to do with what shows up in your blood tests. So a normal blood test does not mean the prostate is not swimming in estrogen. This hormonal shift also increases another hormone called prolactin, which further contributes to prostate enlargement. This is why so many men with diabetes, high carbohydrate diets, excess weight, or alcohol intake experience worsening prostate symptoms as they get older. But there is good news, and we'll get to that soon. One of the questions I see constantly in the comments is, why does the prostate keep getting larger as we get older? And the answer comes down to one key enzyme, aromatase. Aromatase is the enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen. Normally, this process is balanced. But as men age, aromatase starts to increase, and this shift has a direct impact on the prostate. One of the biggest reasons aromatase rises is increased body fat. Fat cells actually produce aromatase. So the more abdominal fat a man has, the more testosterone gets converted into estrogen, and the more estrogen builds up inside the prostate. High insulin and high carbohydrate diets also drive aromatase activity. When insulin remains elevated throughout the day, aromatase becomes more active. This is why many men with type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance tend to experience more severe prostate symptoms. Another major factor is alcohol, which directly increases aromatase and leads to higher estrogen levels. Certain grains, processed foods, and some hormone medications can also stimulate this enzyme. So when you combine age, extra body fat, high insulin, alcohol, or certain foods, aromatase rises and prostate enlargement becomes almost inevitable. The good news is that several natural foods can help balance aromatase activity and support a healthier hormonal environment. The first group is cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, kale, cabbage, and arugula. These vegetables contain compounds that help reduce aromatase activity and support estrogen metabolism. Adding them to your meals a few times a week can make a noticeable difference. Another helpful option is white button mushrooms, but they need to be cooked to have their full effect. Raw mushrooms don't provide the same benefit. Green tea is also a powerful support because of its catechins, which help regulate aromatase and overall inflammation. But perhaps the most impressive natural support is citrus peels, especially blending an entire lemon with water. The peel contains compounds that are up to five times more concentrated than the juice itself. These compounds help block aromatase and promote a healthier hormonal balance throughout the body. 
One of the easiest daily routines you can try is blending one whole lemon with a glass of water. The peel, pulp, and juice all work together to support aromatase balance. If the taste is too strong, you can add a few drops of stevia or half a cup of blueberries, which also support prostate health. This is not a medical treatment, but when combined with a healthy diet and lower insulin levels, it can be a powerful natural support for many men. Gentlemen, this was a quick summary to help you understand what's really happening with your prostate and what you can do about it. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.